Hey, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Angela. I am a full-time voiceover artist and audiobook narrator, and my channel is dedicated to those of you that are just getting started out in this wonderful world of voiceover, and I share with you some techniques that I use every day in my own voiceover business, and I answer your questions. So today, I wanted to share with you something that I had to learn the hard way this past week. And that is backing up your work on your computer to an external hardware device. And plus, I have something else to share with you, too, regarding audiobooks uh, files. So I'm going to mash those two together in today's video. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, so first and foremost, I have to share with you a story. Uh, what had happened to me last week is was a real eye-opener because if you have listened to any of my videos or if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that I had a custom-built computer made for me about a little over a year ago, and uh, I do regularly back up my work. However, I hadn't in probably a couple of weeks, and I was midway through a couple of audiobooks, and then all of a sudden, one night while I'm working late at night, uh, last Monday, everything goes black. Computer literally went poof. I went, oh my gosh, right? What do I do now? So I try not to panic, but luckily I still had my backup computer. And I, this is why I always save everything because you never know in terms of having a backup. Um, so I had my old computer, I plugged it in, I got it rebooted, I had to update everything. Every app that was on it was, of course, a year out of date. So to update everything, make sure that I could use my Adobe Audition, you know, I had to get everything prepped for work because I can't stop. I can't take a day off right now. I'm a little behind, in fact. So in order to keep moving forward, I it took me more time than you know, normal, obviously, to update all the apps, make sure everything was working, reset passwords, you know, try to recover as much as I could. And then also with clients that I'm working with currently, I had to re-download their files that I had already submitted so I could revise them, add to them, match them, that sort of thing, because I had absolutely no point of reference to go off of because they were all on my computer that just went poof. So, to make a long story short, uh, a day later, not the next day, but the day later, Wednesday morning, I had a very nice guy from a local computer repair company come out and diagnose it. And <clears throat> luckily, it was just the power supply. So everything inside is still there. Everything that I left there is still there. All the information, all my files, my audiobooks. Everything was still there, but it did cost a pretty penny and, well, not a pretty penny, but it cost me more than I wanted to spend right at this time. And I could still move forward with work. I'm actually on my new computer, or not my new, I'm actually on, back on my computer now. But uh, it taught me a, real, a really valuable lesson, and that is to have a regular backup schedule. It doesn't matter how new your computer is. My computer is only a little over a year old. It was literally a month outside of the parts warranty. And to tell you the truth, it is, um, uh, I didn't want to have to ship it back to Digital Storm to have it uh, repaired, to have the part replaced and all that stuff. I just don't have that kind of time. So I had to call in a local company to come and fix it for me. But um, I'm just thankful that everything is there. But it taught me a valuable lesson in backing up more frequently, more regularly. It doesn't matter how new your equipment is. Make sure that you have a backup plan, not just for backing up your files and, you know, everything important that you need to keep, you know, even for your business, your tax receipts, all of that stuff is on your computer. Make sure you back all that stuff up at a regular schedule, right? When you're adding to it constantly, you need to be backing that stuff up. And then also the other point is to have a backup plan for hardware, you know, apart from your computer, do you have a backup plan for if your audio interface? just decides to go poof, right? Or if your microphone one day decides to go poof, what is your backup plan? What are you going to do? Do you have an idea of what you can run out and get to continue moving forward with your business when disaster strikes, right? 
So all these things just kind of came into my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really need to have a backup plan for everything else, right? Apart from the computer and my hardware, what am I going to do if everything just kind of goes poof altogether? So just food for thought, make sure that you do think about, I know it's not something we think about every day, but make sure that you do. And if you need to write it down, you know, write it down on a Word document or better yet, the good old pen and paper and have it somewhere where, you know, along with your business plan and all that stuff. So it's easily accessible. You know where it's at. You have that backup plan. You know what to do. Because as you know, when disaster does strike, you're just like in panic mode, right? Your brain just explodes and you just go, oh my God, what do I do now? So have something written down somewhere, preferably tangible, like pen and paper, so you can reference it, calm yourself down. Okay, everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to follow through with my list here and just get it done because I can't undo what just happened. I have to keep moving forward. The, the best thing you can do in that situation is just to stay positive. I did panic. I'm not going to lie to you. I did panic. But then I took, I just sat back in my chair and I said, okay, what do I need to do? What do I need to do right now to keep moving forward? I cannot panic. I cannot take the time to just go, oh, woe is me. Oh my God, I'm going to go, you know, do something else and go take a walk. I mean, you have to, you have to get your mindset straight. You have to get your mind clear and you have to just go, okay, what do I need to do to fix it? You got to go get into mission mode and fix it, right? But then this also made me think of something that had come up recently in one of our group meetings, um, and that was uh, regarding if you're recording an audiobook and um, you get the audiobook completely done, or as you're recording it, I should say, if you're recording an audiobook and you get to the editing stage, as you go through each file and edit it and process it, save it as a wave before you normalize to negative 3 dB and convert it to MP3. And I say that because you want to have a raw format of that file unnormalized in your computer until that book is out of your hands. It's through QA, the author is happy, and it gets to retail. That is when you can offload it to external storage. But keep that WAV file because if the author needs something pronounced a different way, or if they have a request to change the tone of a specific character, or maybe you cut out a complete sentence in, in the manuscript, and believe me, I've done it. We, I think we've all done really goofy stuff. But if you have that raw file, it'll be a lot easier for you to record another, you know, uh, a retake, process it, and then insert it into that WAV file, and then renormalize that entire file as a revised version and then save it to MP3, it'll be a lot easier for you to match the RMS, you and the normalization, from that unprocessed WAV file than it would be to try to match it up later. And then I've been there because <laughs> you're going to spend hours, well, not maybe not hours, but more time that is necessary to try to match the RMS again from two different files versus if you're trying to process one singular file, if that makes sense. So word to the wise, keep the raw WAV file and then the finished MP3 in a folder on your computer until that book is through QA, the author is happy with it, the author has approved it, and then is now at re in retail status for Audible, then offload it to external storage. And believe me, you might just thank me for that later. But I cannot stress the importance of having a external hard drive you know, one of these, plug it into your computer and have a normal regular schedule for this, right? Put it on your agenda once a week, once a month, depending on how busy you are, back up all your files and not just the finished wave and MP3, but any work in progress, you know, anything that you feel you may need, even like I mentioned before, business uh, documents like tax receipts, everything that you could possibly need going forward or in the future, because I got lucky. I got lucky that it was only my power bank and my computer that went out, but I could have very easily lost everything else had something else fried, right? I could have lost everything in my computer, and that would have been really, really bad. I mean, I back up on a regular basis, but I hadn't backed up right before 
you know, before I had started these two audiobooks. So that would have been unfortunate to have the the rights holders wait for me to re-record all of the chapters that I had already finished. So just word to the wise, back up and save no matter how new your computer is, because you never know when you're going to have disaster strike, you know, a defective component somewhere in the computer that just makes everything go kablooey. So please back up your computer. That is pretty much all I have for you today. I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope that that helps and inspires you to go run out and get yourself a a brand new shiny hard drive and back up everything on your computers right now. And if you have any questions for me regarding anything that I've mentioned or, you know, voiceover or audiobooks, please visit my website, voiceoverangela.com. You can leave your questions down below this video if you like. But thank you so much for your time. If you found it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Bye.